In our upcoming lesson, we will be focusing on drawing various objects. This lesson marks a crucial point in our progress, as it allows us to assess our development in the subsequent lessons. Object drawing serves as a practical exercise to aid us at this stage. We will be drawing objects that are readily available in our surroundings, starting with those that you find easiest to draw. For instance, I have chosen a classic object, a mustard bottle, along with some fruits and a tube mechanism. At this point, the scope of our drawings is limited to the objects within our immediate vicinity. Once we exhaust these resources, we can venture out to collect more. There's no excuse for not doing so, as the more objects we draw, the better we become at perceiving and conveying their forms. In this exercise, we will pay close attention to the shapes of the objects around us, particularly focusing on sharp edges and round lines, as they play a crucial role in perceiving and depicting the objects accurately. This exercise also lays the groundwork for our next lesson, which involves creating and drawing compositions using the objects we've practiced with. As we learned in our previous lesson, we typically begin by drawing the basic shapes and outlines of the objects using contour lines. However, this is not a strict rule. You may find that you understand the form better as you progress, and you can complete it with shading without initially determining the lines. After outlining the objects, we can proceed to add shadows and darker areas step by step. This incremental approach helps us avoid feeling overwhelmed. Remember that shadows and darkness should be added gradually to ensure that we're on the right track. The fluidity and comfort of our hand movements significantly impact the quality of our drawings. The pace of development depends on your individual abilities and practice. The key is to draw extensively, and object drawing is an excellent choice for this purpose. Don't be discouraged if your drawings don't initially look perfect. This phase is all about practice. After drawing one object, move on to the next. Experiment with different materials for each object to observe their effects on your drawings. Over time, you will develop your own unique approach to depicting the material structure of objects. I will delve further into shading techniques in future discussions. By keeping a record of your work, you will easily track your progress over time. Always remember to adapt your lines and shadows to match the form of each object. These details are crucial in conveying the three-dimensional nature of the objects we draw. Our goal is to avoid making round objects look flat in our drawings. We have the ability to achieve this. I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson, where we will explore further aspects of drawing and composition.